in my opinion, Jon Stewart is the greatest Green Lantern. He's the most powerful Green Lantern. And I think it's because he embodies everything that you would want out of a Green Lantern. He's stoic, he's restrained, he's disciplined, and he's a hard worker, and he's creative as far as when it comes to like architecture and thinking of constructs and so precise. And when it's time to unleash his power, he does it as well. So uh, when he's written that way, I think that's when he is John Stewart is at his best. I do like Hal Jordan, but I, but to me, Hal Jordan seems more of a wild card. I think he can be reckless and take unnecessary risk at times. So anyways, we're going to be talking about Green Lantern War Journal. And this is the cover by Villa Lobos. This is the Hispanic Heritage Month with Jessica Cruz on it. She's not actually in the story. But I just thought I'd pick this up because it looks so good. I also ended up picking up the Glow in the Dark uh, Dog Tags Edition. This is a variant cover. So let's turn off the lights and see what happens. Well, that's kind of a letdown. I thought it'd like be brighter and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe you got to say the oath. In the brightest day, the darkest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evils might beware my power green lantern's light no how disappointing so in order to get into this um this story has been picking up in the backup story for the current green lantern story with hal jordan i think it's three issues in so if you want to kind of get up to speed uh you might want to start up start off with those backups if you're interested in that i think the only other kind of like back knowledge that you need to know is that the green lantern corps the guardians were kind of disbanded by some kind of new federation called the united planets and stuff they've kind of taken over the rings and they're like yo this sector over here 2814 with earth so many crises and stuff happened over here man we're gonna have to quarantine it and uh, a lot of the green lanterns were kind of separated so that's pretty much where you're starting off at um and then also in this story you're, you're getting a little bit of a multiverse action um it's not too bad like at first i was like oh man we're doing multiverse action already but it's pretty simple like uh there's a multiverse where john stewart is like the greatest hero in there and uh, they're being overwhelmed by some kind of, uh, I, I think they call it like a radiant queen or something. Like a, she's like the queen of like some arachnid kind of zombie species or whatever. And she goes into the other multiverse to destroy uh, John Stewart uh, because he's the focus of it. So they sent, uh, so the John Stewart from that universe sends another, sends a Green Lantern named Green Lantern Shepherd to go find John Stewart of this universe. And that's pretty much what you need to know. Go ahead and give some credit here, man. So this is written by Philip Kennedy Johnson. Artist is Montos. Colorist Adriano Lucas. And letterer Dave Sharp. Um, this cover is by Villa Lobos. So I really do appreciate that. And uh, we start off the story with an astronaut. I really like the banter uh, between the astronauts. And there's an astronaut. She's working on something outside of the ship. And then stuff starts going wrong. There's like a big flash of light and it starts kind of destabilizing the ship and everything. And then uh, she needs to kind of fix it. But then she is visited by a sapphire ring and she picks it up. So we don't know if she's going to be a villain or something like she's going to be the new star sapphire. That's going to be interesting. So that's where it starts off at. And then I do like that they do say uh john stewart is the most powerful lantern here so salute to that uh i will get on with that propaganda as well i do love the opening here you have john stewart who's been on earth and he's been just kind of taking time to live with his mother and uh he's just kind of doing everyday things like here he's like in his truck he's got the truck full of bed uh full of mulch then you just kind of see the paneling the way it goes back and forth between him just toiling on the working on the yard and stuff and then having flashbacks to what to the time that he was a green lantern of him flying the skies and jets now this is something that i appreciate right because uh john stewart is a veteran he is a uh, uh, uh i think he he is a marine he's a marine and um and I feel like this is something that's reminiscent of some of the things that you see from like watching documentaries and listening to people who are veterans is that people who join the military uh, get to do some things that they will never get to do 
in civilian life, right? Uh, you get to shoot some awesome guns, blow up some stuff. You get to drive tanks, shoot some huge guns or whatever, uh, live in the forest and stuff like that. Stuff that they will never do in civilian life unless you actually pursue it. And some people get deployed and they go deploy and they get to, you know, experience a culture across the world, experience a culture of war as well. So when people return to civilian life, um, it's not the same. Like they, they will never do some of those things again. So I can appreciate that. Uh, and I've heard comments of people who deployed to Afghanistan and stuff like that, saying that even when they come back to civilian life, part of them still a part of them still feels like it's still in the mountains in you know Kandahar and still in the mountains of Afghanistan uh, which is something I feel like this comic book captures where even though Jon Stewart's at home living a peaceful life uh, he still has a part of him that was a Green Lantern uh, which was like I can imagine a really high point in his life uh, but Jon Stewart uh, I really love that they have his relationship here with his mom um, he's she's like a mom you know telling the same stories about him and everything he's just trying to help her out fix her sink and stuff like that i appreciate so the united planets have all the green lanterns so anyway so the united planets send the green lantern to his mama's house because they think that he has a ring which is not authorized for him to have right the united planets redistribute it among their people uh, the rings among their people so they're like okay these are gonna be the our Green Lanterns and the old previous Green Lantern is not but in previous stories we know that Jon Stewart does not need a Green Lantern ring anymore he is a Green Lantern ring like he personifies willpower so they think that he has a ring but he is the ring and uh, and I really love this confrontation because he treats this, uh, John Stewart treats this United Planets Green Lantern like a freaking jabroni, man. He straight up whips him. The guy yields, man, yields. Sends him back into space with his tail tucked between his legs. And he's like, now you know what a real Green Lantern is. Because I don't know if those the new Green Lanterns, the United Planet Green Lanterns are actually operating on willpower. But uh, that was awesome. That was awesome. Then you get more family time with uh, Green Lantern and the daughter and stuff like that. And then you finally see uh, Green Lantern Shepard from another universe who is looking for Jon Stewart. Um, and he is being chased by some of those zombie things and everything. So he needs to find Jon Stewart before these little zombie things uh, do. So it's kind of one of those things where Jon Stewart is trying to live a peaceful life on Earth. And then it looks like green lanterns from another universe are gonna be sucking him right back in kind of like the old uh godfather thing with al pacino so uh overall this is definitely going on my pool list he, i love the character of john stewart i think he's 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 awesome and uh if you're interested in learning more about john stewart i would recommend picking a this is like the I think it's like a celebration of 50 years of Green Lantern John Stewart. It's a collection of all his previous some of his more important issues throughout history, including his first and second appearances. Um, so, yeah, man. So, yeah, that's it. If you guys are picking up Green Lantern War Journal, I like to know what your guys opinions on that is. So, yeah, man, I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. All right. Take care. Peace.